Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Bracing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. At least the rain is washing away most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positively sweltering. I admit that my knowledge of sanitation systems is lacking. But should this water be boiling? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. Then we indeed have a mystery on our hands. Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. Eli Becker. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. Where did you get that? Help me. Look, guy, I've had enough help to last me a lifetime. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Don't patronize me. I know who you are. You're the master. You really think I'm stupid, don't you? You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void-touched. What? Touched? Void-touched. It means... I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, Master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Why should I? Look, maybe you care, and maybe you don't. It doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not after the way you left us. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. You what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others weren't so lucky. Shut up, shut up! Don't talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. You can't prove a damn thing. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. That, that's crazy. You're crazy. You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone, no thanks to you.
he and I were a, a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. Please, don't come back. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you Master. Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. Oh, it's uh, nothing. <laughs> Just a little run-in with a golem and a succubus that got a... A uh, story for another time? Right. <clears throat> Blood rituals, dark magic, bad stuff. Yes, Eli. Bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, 
I really want to know more about this ritual. After you? I should have tossed that computer. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? You mean, did you teach us all how to do those blood rituals? Yes. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words, and we'd heal. Better longer, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. It all ended, is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. They just got too sick. But whatever you did to us, that healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. I failed everyone. I was supposed to help them, but instead I... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. Yeah, I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I, I killed him. By accident. I must have been nervous. I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit, it came back. It... It was horrible. He couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. Yes, and so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, there's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn him in. Cerebral palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I can barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. I think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. What? Why did you do that? What do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer, it was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. You went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. You serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Huh. 
Looks like Wendy was right. Turn it on! For the love of God, turn it back on! Wait. Master? Master! Master, is that you? No, you just can't leave me. Not again. Not yet. Please. I know. I failed you. I couldn't leave them. I was too weak. I tried. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. I... I was, yes. But I'm not sure who I am anymore. Do you remember, Master? How you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. That was no demon. It was you! You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city! But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something. Anything that could help me get warm again. I'm so sorry, Master. You said that spell was dangerous. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. Yes, they were the only ones who would take me in. No, you misunderstand. The shelter, it burned to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? I... I didn't mean for this to happen. Help me, Master! I know I don't deserve it, but please... Help me before I hurt anyone else. Anything you want! The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose. After you help me? I didn't want to leave them. Wendy least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. She what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. Master, this is all too much. I served you, faithfully. Then you left when I needed you the most. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me? Help me! Do that and I will get the knife for you gladly! I've been trying, but the fire is different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. 
I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Thank you, Master!